Well, thank you all for the overwhelming response to my dilemma. So we have uh, this method, which hmm, that should work, but I've discounted that. We've got the Pascal method. Thanks for your comment, but I'm not going with that. And this was my sort of method. I'm not going with that. That was a, that was a John method. Um, I'll show you what I'm going for. I'm going for this, which is pretty similar to my first idea. But I'm going to put the joggle on the top sill. Um, that will give me a really strong, a really strong corner there. Um, and when I place this piece on, I can actually push against that to hold it in place. Doing it that way, I'd have to pull that panel against it, which is going to be difficult because I can't get in from the back. Um, and yes, there will be a flange, but we've got flanges here, we've got flanges there. And doing it this way, water won't naturally run into that um, into that gap because it'll be it'll be welded and leaded there. And water won't really get up that way easily. You know, it's more likely to to rot down here, isn't it? Really, that sort of area. Uh, so that's what I'm going to attempt. I checked these doors before I took them off, and uh, it was dropped. It seems to have dropped a little more since I've been messing with it. Um, but I can shim the. I'll put a shim under the bottom hinge, and I think that will bring that right with a slightly bigger gap here than we have at the bottom. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? That should run out of metal. So, it hasn't come together this time. I've just got enough to do something with. I will just tip that edge over and make some sort of corner joint there. Right, that's the edge I want to fold. And I want to go in about a millimetre further in from that. I'm going to do it in the vise. And I've made this tool. I've just rounded off that corner because I don't want to sharp sharp corner there, slightly rounded. So I think if I fold it round there that might work. Give it a shot. And I think I'm out of trouble now, that'll, I can just weld onto that, weld onto that edge there. And that's, that's stiffened that up nicely and I've got a, a straighter edge now, so that's good. Um, so I'm just going to, just going to tip this, this flange back a little bit more because it's not, it should be in a little bit there, shouldn't it? Right, I'll do that now. I'm trying to make my life easier here. I've got um, I've got a good gap looking down on the sill. That I'm happy with that. But trying to keep this at the right door height, I'm going to make these cardboard brackets here. 
and I'm going to weld it to the bottom of the sill but leave it unwelded at the top but mark it so I can drill a hole and weld it afterwards but in the meantime it's just going to sit there welded at the bottom supporting the top at the right height that's what I think might work so I'll put two or three of those along the sill and hopefully it'll help me out right still a little faffing around uh, I spent all morning yesterday and a couple of hours this morning trying to get to the stage not sure what I filmed last but this edge is rolled over and I've welded some brackets to the underside there to hold this in place where I want it and that's sort of pretty much pretty much there um, spent a lot of time fluffing around with the door trying to get the gaps right and the height right and I bet it was never right when it was new that's just a temporary brace there um, but I've got four miller filler on there but the bottom here sort of lines up that's fairly flush uh, so I still need a little bit of tweaking um, made up a, a gauge off the other side the other side's pretty rough but that'll sort of work there. One for the back. The front one fits better. So I'm going to try and make this sill in one piece. I think it'll blend in better if it's um, if it's one section. So let's have a go at that. So don't have enough metal material to make a former so I'm going to try this and I made a, a smaller piece I made a door bottom this way so I put the metal on the top Come on. so metal on top that's way oversize uh, and a scaffolding tube and just try knocking that down to get the shape what are the chances so have you ever seen anything like this Well, it is going, but I think I'm going to need a big hammer. I've got two weapons to try. Let's have a go with this one first.
I say. Well, of course that didn't work, but I have another plan, which is this. It's a oxygen bottle and a piece of wood. And if we just look at that bend, that's not a million miles away. So if I can put the metal down there and bend it round there, and I purposely left that metal wide, so I've got some leverage on it, and I'll have to cut off the excess later. It's just start to rain, and I'm working underneath the, the canopy of the garage door. So, so here we get on. Well, it was supposed to be fine this morning. Hopefully it'll cheer up a bit. I'm just going to give it a few tweaks just to see what happens. something. I might be better off with a smaller bottle. I've got a, um, I've got a clear welding bottle. I don't really want to take that off because I'd have to get it off. Keep going at that, and we'll get some more. But at least putting that first wrong bend in with a pipe in, it, it's made it stiff enough that it doesn't, doesn't go all floppy. So it wasn't all a complete waste of time. And then I'll get a, uh, a wooden mallet, just trying not to crease it down. Here's my selection of weapons. As you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of things that hammer. So we've got wood, hide, rubber, and whatever this stuff is. That gives me a choice. And after a couple of minutes, oh, hold on a minute. Where are we going? There. Uh, front. Not a billion miles away. And the back. Still a way to go. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and iron out these hard ridges and see what that does to the shape. And I'm sort of hoping that I get a bit of crown on it so it should be sort of that shape, but that would be lucky, but we'll see how that goes.
Well, I thought my CO2 bottle was smaller, but it's not it's the same size. So I keep pressing on with this. I just can't quite get enough bend out of it. Let's try it this way. See what happens. Move the camera now. More faffing around. Okay, next instalment. Back to this pipe. Can't do it one hundred. There we are, see if we can beat it over that. So at the moment it's just this bit I want to bend, just put a little bit more bend in this bottom.
are some rough measurements. That's sort of the, the front face, somewhere there. Door. So all this is waste here. And at the back we've got this waste here. Which, um, it, it's good having quite a bit of waste because you, you can slide it up and down the car. You've got more wriggle room if, uh, to make it fit nicer. Um, but I'll keep trying to put some shape into that um, before I cut that out. It might get a bit flimsy once I cut some of this section out. I'm going to have to put that angle on, but I just want to try and get this, this bottom bend here correct first. So, front, what do we need? A little bit more in here. put the flange on and um, although I'm only using one inch bar one inch angle there was no droop on it when I clamped it up and I think with that piece of steel in the middle it should stay should stay straight we'll see shan't we
usual on these long bends. There's a, there's a bow in that. I'll have to run that through the shrinker. I think it's time for a small celebration with a bag of crisps. You may have noticed that little cock up I did that I, I cut this angle too much of a right angle. So I've had to tap that back and I've straightened it out. And that's almost there and I'm, I'm going to cut this back to about here somewhere. To about here. And that's, that's almost, almost there. Um, and I'll cut this out for the door here. But I think I'm going to have to do a bit of hammering here because um, there should be a, a crown on that. And we're, we're touching the sill there more or less and we're a little way off here. So a bit of hammering through there. It only needs a little. Just give me a little bit of crown uh, to bring it round. But that's, um, that's pretty good, I think. Pleased with that. On another note, I bought these. Got these from France. And um, although they're the wrong ones, I thought mm, maybe I can make those fit. Because I'm never going to get the right ones. And then I found these, which are the right ones. And these have been repaired. But those will polish up to be uh, acceptable. But I'm still missing this bit here. But I have got this which I think is the same bit that goes in there um, but that fits on a on some sort of mounting circular thing but if I can't get that I might be able to make something to go in there I've got some stainless sheet I can maybe make something up so I've got choices now let's see what's behind here so this is where my new panel comes to we'll just take some paint off Let's see what's there.
that looks pretty good up down to there, so I'm going to cut the panel down to here somewhere. Good.